year was 1914. Woodrow Wilson was in the White House and our nation was preparing for the Great War. Oscar Colquitt was the governor of Texas. And oh, by the way, the Longhorns were national champs at 8-0 that year. In April of that year, 11 plumbing contractors gathered together in Fort Worth to discuss the issues facing their businesses. This is the original Articles of Incorporation. Men like Ed Braden of San Antonio, F.J. McCullough of Wichita Falls, and Fred Robbins of Fort Worth formed the Associated Master Plumbers of Texas. Our family started plumbing business back in 1884 with, a, with another man named Mr. Braden. My uh, great-grandfather, Archibald, uh, was a uh, he and his partner were a part of the PHCC when it started a hundred years ago. And, and um, I think Mr. Braden is actually, his signature is on the letters of incorporation or something up in Fort Worth when they, when they put it together. grandfather was a master plumber. In 1934, he and a friend of his decided they'd try on their own in the middle of the Depression uh, to run a, a plumbing company at the time. And so they started up and ran it out of his garage at his house. And the tools were all hand driven, very little motorized or electric tools. So everything was done by hand and uh, waste piping was caulked with lead. Very challenging, very heavy, very hard work. My great-grandfather, uh, Archibald Schaefer, uh, he got to the job on a, on a horse and buggy. And now we're emailing invoices back and forth to the customers, and it's just a, a completely different world. But this rich history of the plumbing, heating, and cooling trade is rooted in the success of family-run operations, many of which have their own long, rich histories that grew up alongside PHCC. Companies like Connor Plumbing in Beaumont, Wheeler and Sons in Victoria, and Dallas Plumbing. Uh, we've been in business since 1903. The biggest accomplishment is the fact that, that uh, we've main, maintained uh, a business that's lasted a hundred years and has uh, provided a living not only for our family but for a lot of other families. We have uh, a number of second generation employees uh, that are not family but, but are still involved in the company. Most of my guys are double digits. Uh, the longest one, I think, has been with me for 27 years. It's very satisfying in the fact that we're all, we're all still together here and, and still, you know, keeping it going and doing well. We also don't want to fail knowing that we had, you know, a great-grandfather and grandfather and dad and so many family members involved. We're hoping that we have another 111 years. <laughs> This is my grandfather, John Kane, which was the uh, chief plumbing inspector of Fort Worth in 1945. This is my father, Howard Kane, and my uncle, Paul Kane. As the Associated Master Plumbers of Texas grew and gained support through the years, it evolved to include heating contractors in the 50s and cooling contractors in the 60s. This new direction to include the plumbing, heating, and cooling contractors expanded our founding members' vision and continued their mission under the new name Associated PHCC Texas. Through the years, the core strength of PHCC developed from working towards a common goal to improve the industry working together as peers and friends, not simply competitors. So I went to my first PHCC meeting and I met the members, of which there were only about 10, and they were all many years my senior, so I was kind of a young kid, and these guys were all polished and professional people. 
And they all came up and they introduced themselves to me. So very rapidly, my intimidation with these gentlemen dissipated because they were all so warm and so friendly. And one particular man uh, who has really made a, a big impact on my life was Bernard Levy, the owner of Levy Plumbing Company. It used to be Milton B. Levy and Son. Uh, so Bernard came up to me, shook my hand, put his other hand on my shoulder and said, you don't know me, but I know who you are and I know your family and I want to be your mentor for my little four truck business. But when I think about that initial meeting with Bernard and the warmth that was shown to me by an icon in the plumbing business in Dallas and when he said, I want to be your mentor, I want to help you be successful. What else is there? What I love about PHUC is the, the relationships. It's amazing that I can call up a fellow contractor and talk about an issue that I have or help you know, answering some of my problems. We've made some good friends, people that we really didn't know that well that we've gotten to be good friends with through the association. I'm also thankful that I have a place to send my employees for additional training. I don't want inexperience to ruin my company's reputation, and I'm confident that the PHCC apprenticeship programs in Dallas, San Antonio, and El Paso are second to none. They have done our continuing education for a number of years. My father started the company, or the company was incorporated in 1955, uh, and we've got grown large enough now that we actually have a instructor from PHCC come in here and, and uh, do continuing education for all our employees. So what about those 11 master plumbers who started the association? What would they think if they could see PHCC today? I think they would be blown away with what they would thought happened. Right. PHCC has had a dream that one day we would have our own facility supported by a professional staff and director. Now we have a 5,000 square foot training facility in Buda with five full-time staff. This is one of our classrooms at our training facility in Buda. We have three year-round apprenticeship programs that educate over 200 students. We also have 23 paid full-time instructors that educate over 11,000 apprentices, journeymen, and master plumbers every year. That is our legacy. A hundred years later, PHCC is all about how to train and be professional craftsmen to protect the health of the nation. PHCC Texas has helped us keep up with the new trends, the new technologies, the new products. I mean, that's what PHCC is all about. How do you keep up with the current trends of today and be prepared for tomorrow? My crystal ball tells me we're gonna do that.